Hey guys, it's Jared. I just wanted to post a quick video explaining how to obtain a Georgia motorcycle license. Uh, for about the past week I've been going through the process of obtaining my full motorcycle license and uh, there, was some def there was definitely some confusion and I just wanted to post this to kind of clear that up for anybody that may be having some troubles understanding it too. To start with, um, there's two things you can do in Georgia to ride a motorcycle. You can either have a Georgia motorcycle permit or a license, a full license. Uh, the difference between the two is that if you have a permit, you can't ride on the highway, you can't ride at night, and you cannot carry a passenger with you. So when I got my motorcycle a couple months ago, I uh, went ahead and got my permit. It wasn't a big deal. You just walk, you, uh, walk into the DDS office and tell them you want to take a motorcycle permit test. Um, you pay your $10, you go take the test, and if you pass, you walk out with a permit. So you can just ride your motorcycle around town and stuff. But with my dad and I wanting to go up north on the mountains and stuff, from where we live, you know, we got to jump on Georgia 400 and head north. Uh, technically, I wasn't allowed to get on the highway with what license I had, so I had to get my full license, you know, after I got more comfortable with the bike and stuff. And that's what I did last weekend. To do that, I had to go take a road test. And what was kind of confusing about the whole obtaining your full motorcycle license was is, is that online it'll tell you you need to have... Uh, a knowledge exam and your motorcycle test, your motorcycle road test. So I was like, okay, cool. But then I kind of started thinking, well, I've already taken a permit test. Does this mean I have to take the knowledge exam again? And the answer is no. I called uh, uh, Department of Driver Services and they said, since I have already obtained a permit, I do not have to go and get, um, I do not have to retake the knowledge exam. I can just come in, make it or make an appointment, come in, take the road test, and then I'll be licensed. There's also another way you can do it. If you don't want to get your permit, you can uh, just pay $250 and go to a Saturday course, and it's an all-day course. Uh, they provide the motorcycle. All you need to do is bring a helmet, a long sleeve shirt or jacket, and high ankle boots, and you basically walk in. You do the knowledge portion of the test for half the day, and or the knowledge portion of the like motorcycle stuff half the day and then you do road work the next half and you walk out of that class if you pass with a motorcycle license actually technically it's a certificate that you take to the DMV and they give you a license but you know that's that's if you decide to do that uh, anyway I wanted to post some videos about my road test because I know um, I'm gonna post a link below about how to get the handbook the Georgia motorcycle handbook it's just a PDF file you download it's a really outdated it's old but um in the back of the book it tells you what the test is going to be about it's in four parts there's uh, the slalom right turn u-turn um, quick stop and weave and you know in the book it tells you about what the whole test is but it doesn't give you any dimensions so you can't really go in like a parking lot and set the course up to practice yourself um, so I just thought I'd uh, post the link below so you can kinda of see what the tests are about and I'm gonna post some videos that my dad took of me taking the actual test Anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this clears up any confusion you guys might have. Uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment or send me a message, and um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.